20 years and is a founding member of the National Health Action Party, a political party which defends NHS values. A lot of people, certainly in certain corners of the press, don't have sympathy with GPs because they are relatively well paid. But we also know it's an undeniable fact that we have an ageing population and there is increasing demand on GP services. Is it feasible to stretch an already stretched part of the NHS like the GP department? Well, there are a lot of myths about general practice and it's certainly not an overfunded service. It's, it's lost a billion pounds in real terms in the last five years. And those headline figures for GP earnings are not accurate. GPs in my area of London, full-time experienced GPs, are earning between 60 and 75,000 a year, which is a good salary, but it's nothing like those figures bandied about. The issue is not about money, it's about workload. It's an extremely stressful job. It's a very satisfying and rewarding job at times, but also it can be a nightmare, long hours. You never feel you're getting on top of patients because you just don't have the time to look after them properly. And I also, as well as being a GP, help teach the next generation of young doctors who have chosen to train in general practice. It's a three-year training. And talking to them, it's clear that though they, they like the idea of general practice, they couldn't face the thought of full-time GP work. So most of them want to go for portfolio careers where they're doing a mixture of things. So therefore, is it feasible what Jeremy Hunt is proposing? He wants GPs like you to get on board with this new deal. He's you know, recognised a problem in the system. What other way is there of tackling it? Well, there are, there's just not enough funding in general practice to meet the demand. Well, they're offering more funding, aren't they? Not really. It's £10 million. Pounds. If it was spread out over everybody, it's 20 pence per patient per year. It's actually not going to be spread out. It's going to go to particular struggling practices, which is fine. It's, the tie, it's less than a drop in the ocean. It's not serious. The Royal College of GPs say that funding for general practice has to increase from 8.5% of the NHS budget to about 11% in order to, to actually expand. You know, we can't even meet the core demand. Our practice has got more GPs per patient than the average, and yet we still can't provide all the appointments that people want during core hours. So the idea that with no real extra funding that I can see, that we're going to be able to meet that demand and also expand into very much more extended hours. It's just not realistic. Certainly, I do agree that people should be able to access appointments outside normal um, working hours. But we already do that, many practices do, and instead of funding us for that, they're cutting the funding for that too. So there's a lot of rhetoric, and there's a lot of sweet sounding words, and he's very good at that, Mr Hunt. But he's not, it doesn't look as if he's going to deliver on, on the real things that are needed. There's a crisis in general practice. People really value their GPs. I think if they knew how close it was to collapse, they would demand that our government did more to support general practice. I'm not convinced. Thank you very much, Dr. Louise Irvine.